What is up guys? It's May 25th, 2015th, and I'm just gonna show you this garden fence that I built here. Uh, basically to keep out the deer and the animals, and especially the groundhogs. Groundhogs were terrible, and this fence here is has uh, kept them out. So, and hopefully you guys will see the progress of the garden this year. We have all these pots here, and this is where I usually plant uh, tomatoes. So. This is an awesome little fence. We got so many animals and stuff in the area and they just, they will get at anything. And this has been keeping them out really good. We've tried everything to keep any kind of animal out and it just doesn't work. Tried everything and anything. And this was the solution. We just tilled this whole garden. It was full of weeds and my new idea here is we planted a hedge row of daylilies here as you can see there's daylilies and it's surrounding basically we made a border of daylilies and hopefully the daylilies will grow thick enough in theory to keep out uh the weeds and make a border line what's up guys it's june 23rd and i'm giving you guys an update and i'll probably be stitching this together with my last video that i did from about a month ago so here is a little fountain I made out of an old flower pot and a little terracotta pot and I plumbed in a little bit of um, piping uh, to make a little waterfall there right there and I figured I'd just show that and over here by the rock we have some lady slippers blooming we got like yellow and pink and some hostas and some other stuff coming into play right there. So here's the, the flower garden a month later after we did all the transplanting and rotor tilling and the daylily hedge line as you can see looking a lot better. You can even see that tomato plant in the middle doing a lot better. Um, the daylilies doing a lot better on the sides as well. Then we added some no wood chips to the path here all right guys so this is like the garden update here let me give you kind of a perspective of the whole garden all right so last time you guys seen this this was in may roughly and and in may nothing was really planted except for the broccoli in the centers right now the broccolis have some pretty decent heads uh, everything was planted roughly about, I don't know, late May, and uh, there's a lot of lettuce, a lot of lettuce to be harvested there as you can make out, and you can even make out the broccoli heads um, over here, there's some beans, cucumbers haven't came up yet, they were early planted, and I guess the frost got them, and my mom planted some tomatoes over there so we're gonna see how her tomatoes do this year usually I do the tomato planting uh, this year she's doing it so we're gonna see if she gets any tomatoes uh, so it's looking pretty good so far she's gonna get tomatoes we'll see if the blight doesn't get it first uh, the blight might just come in and wipe out all her tomatoes she might not get anything and there's actually some giant tomatoes down there on the other sides as well Here's some potatoes that I planted into the ground right there, center row. As well as this is a cucumber garden in here. And the cucumbers, like, once again, had frost and ha it had implications, so they were all replanted. And they're not doing so good. Uh, this year, we actually, we never really were able to grow any vegetables out here of any sort other than tomatoes via the pots and fertilizing uh, but this year I we got some grass fertilizer and grass fertilizer goes a long way because it's high in nitrogen and it's giving the plants um, a lot of nutrients and it's pretty cheap pound for pound I mean you can't go wrong with grass fertilizer and, and I mean if you look if you look at this lettuce, you could see how good the lettuce is doing right now, and even the broccoli. 
So here's a shot of the green onions, different types of green onions and stuff, and they always do good every year. No matter, despite the soil, they do great. I don't know. This year, actually, they're not doing as good as usual, but nevertheless, they're still there, and they're still doing good. I also planted a potato in this pot right here, and maybe there's going to be, like, a ton of potatoes. I don't know. Yet to see. I'm thinking there's going to be 10 pounds of potatoes in this pot. All right, guys, so this is a garden update, July 19th. And things are starting to bloom and go into bloom. Here's a shot of the tomatoes. And the daylilies are actually starting to bloom as well. Everything's growing pretty thick and massive. I don't know if these tomatoes here were in the last uh, update, but as you can see, there's some tomatoes growing here. And there's a big giant tomato in a pot up there. The deer have been coming in and eating everything and you can see the deer was eating at that hosta plant and there's another one there and basically yeah this thing is kind of covered with net and netting I don't know if you can see it in the video but it's been helping here's a tomato plant that the deer pretty much just took it right out almost So here's a shot of the big garden and the tomatoes are about five over five feet tall with the pot so I guess over four feet tall. Uh, there is some tomatoes on some of these but uh, if you can make that out there. Not as much blooms as you would expect yet so it's just a little bit too early still. Cucumbers on the far left, beans in the middle, uh, there's romaine in the center there, broccoli going into seed, uh, the radishes right up front here, we never did pick them, never did get to harvest them, and now they are going into seed as well, I don't know if you can make it out, but there's seed pods on those radishes. and quite a bit of dill and beets. Let's see if I can get in there and show you guys a better shot. Here's an up close shot of some of the tomatoes on some of the plants here. Uh, yeah, it's like a jungle in here. There is some beets. The beets weren't thin, but you could see there is beets on there. They're popping out. Some more beets over here. And some over there. And it looks like they are bulbing, so the beets are working. Cucumbers blooming. No cucumbers yet, but they're blooming. Uh, there was a lot of lettuce here. There still is. We've been eating lots and lots of lettuce. The cucumbers back here in the back aren't doing as good. Uh, no fertilizer was added back here and compared to in the big garden you could really see the difference of how much that grass fertilizer helped. Okay guys, so these are like um, giant blue barrels that these uh, tomatoes are in. And these tomatoes are over six feet tall. Uh, they're all blooming. There's some tomatoes on some of them yet. Uh, you can make them out. But they're just massive plants. And I have my potato plant over here which is growing pretty big as well and it's flowering as well so I'm curious to see how much potatoes are going to come out of that pot what's up guys it's August 8th and here's an update of the yard 
Uh, the daylilies are all blooming. Tomatoes are in full bloom and none of them are really ripe yet but this will probably be the last update video. Uh, you can see blight right there in the center with the yellow leaves. Basically been ripping these plants right down. There's pretty much no leaves left on this one. Uh, some tomatoes on there might develop a little further. Some more blight here. And some more green tomatoes. So I put these corns here in these small little pots and they're actually doing pretty well. Um, you can see there's two stalks of corn on here somewhere. You can make that out. Just goes to show that a small little pot uh, you don't need a big pot for them. As long as they're on the ground and they got holes in the pot, they'll find their way. Here's a little baby tomato that the deer ate and just kind of left it. And here's a shot of the cucumbers growing through the fence of the main garden here. They're climbing up and the deers have been coming and picking up through uh, the fence. Let's see if I could find a shot of a cucumber growing here. Uh, there's a baby right there uh, but yeah it's full of cucumbers a lot of blooms okay so these tomatoes are probably like five feet tall and you can see this one the blight just ripped this plant apart but you can see all the tomatoes exposed uh, so pretty big tomatoes a lot of foliage the blight will have to eat quite a bit to finish these plants off So here's the other cucumber garden and it's, you can see the cucumbers are doing the same thing, they're growing right through this. And there's a lot of cucumbers in here too. Some more tomatoes and these tomatoes are probably about four feet tall, well five feet, almost six feet in the pots. Oh, and here's some tomatoes in these, you can see they're just tomatoes everywhere on the bottoms. I think they're about four and a half inch tomatoes maybe. Maybe five inch. They're pretty big. And here's a shot of the inside of what's left. Cucumbers. We had lettuce. Some lettuce is sitting there still. Maybe it'll go to seed. Maybe it won't. Uh, this is broccoli that is going into seed. I'm not quite sure if it's going to go into seed. All the beets that are left that weren't big enough to be picked. We're just leaving them in there and maybe they'll continue to grow. And here's another shot of the garden. This fence is about four and a half, maybe almost five feet tall. And some of those tomatoes are over six feet in the pots. And yeah, a lot of cukes left. Tomatoes are still growing. A lot of tomatoes. Blight is taking them all over, but we'll probably have to pick them all before uh, the plants actually die. They probably won't be able to vine ripen.